Here at home, the newly formed Free Palestine Coalition in the Twin Cities is demanding that the U.S. stop funding Israel. Thousands marching on the state capitol today. They're also echoing calls from some Muslim American groups in the Twin Cities for a ceasefire in the region. Our Renee Cooper has their requests to leaders. Palestine is our demand. A march to the capitol on Saturday. Thousands strong. No peace on stolen land. Cries of protesters still calling for a ceasefire amid an increasingly desperate situation for Palestinian people living in Gaza. Different people come for different reasons, but we are united in a message, which is that we don't want to have blood on our hands. We don't want to be complicit. Officials say more than half of Gaza's hospitals are no longer operational, and more than 11,000 militants and civilians are dead. 40% of the deaths reportedly children pulled from the wreckage of their homes. I'm a mother um, of a 14 year old. Um, I can't even imagine trying to have to pull my child out of the rubble that people are and people are like literally doing that and have been doing that for weeks. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu pushed back against calls for a ceasefire on Saturday, saying Israel will continue, quote, full force in its effort to crush Hamas adding a ceasefire will only be possible if more than 200 hostages are released. Palestine will be free! The news not slowing the crowd headed for the Minnesota Capitol grounds. The thousands marching, symbolic of the thousands dead. As were the green, white, red, and black flags together, forming a Palestinian flag on the lawn, each bearing a name of a Palestinian killed in the conflict. We want to send a message to Minnesota legislators at the congressional level that says that we expect you to stop helping fund this war. Israeli Defense Force is now reporting 150,000 Gazans have fled the area since they agreed to daily humanitarian pauses on Thursday. Now the Free Palestine Coalition here says they'll be continuing protests like this as the conflict continues. At the state capitol, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.